Good morning, family. So, <laughs> I guess it's about 10 o'clock uh, on a Friday morning, and I have been in my garden since about 6. Yeah. So, I'm putting together, uh, and just really trying to get things together, and then making sure that I have you guys <laughs> in mind so you all can see and uh, I want to share what I'm doing over here with you all. But I pray you all having a wonderful Friday. And yeah, baby, it's the weekend, y'all. It's the weekend. Good morning, family. This is Linda. So in today's video, I am doing a lot. Really, this started like <laughs> two days ago, but I'm going to be making some sugar cane syrup from my sugar canes. Yeah. So this is the very first time I'm trying to make some sugar cane syrup, right? Um, but listen, if you've been here with me, then you already know I are, I grow a lot of sugar cane. There's many things, as many dishes that I I do uh, use my sugar cane, like sugar cane shish kebab on shrimps, which is very delicious if you've never tried it before. But I wanted to try to find something new and different for me. Now, I have seen or heard of my grandparents doing something like this, uh, but they did it um, uh, where they boiled sugar cane out, you know, in, in the yard um, with pots and, and fire. And so I never was around that kind of stuff. But today I'm going to harvest some of my sugar cane. I'm going to chop it up and I'm gonna put it in a pot and I'm gonna put it on my stove. And this is how we're going to achieve our sugar cane syrup. I'm not gonna add anything to my sugar cane syrup except water and sugar cane family. That's all we're gonna do. So the first thing we need is a lot of sugar cane. So what that is family over there, <laughs> That's a lot of sugar cane. Now, let me just say this, my loves. I'm not using all that sugar cane. <laughs> no. So, I used about four long poles of my sugar cane, probably 10 to 12 feet long on all four of them. So, it was a lot of sugar cane. And so I pulled out my friend. I got a friend that helped me. Yep, there she is right there. It's my trusty ex. Because with this sugar cane, you need it. My sugar cane is very, very healthy and strong. You can't just break her. You can't just cut her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway. So I have my water bath canner. This is an old water bath canner I have. And uh, it's a big water bath canner. It's, uh, it's, it's an old one, but she works fine. She works great. And um, this is what I'm gonna use for my sugar cane today. Yeah, I'm gonna use that to make my sugar cane syrup. And uh, I'm just gonna cut up my sugar cane and I'm gonna put it in this big baby mm -hmm. we are gonna use this axe right here <laughs> now I did oil her up I oiled my axe up with coconut oil yeah that's what I did because the sugar cane is no joke <laughs> but it was uh, it was great uh, I never um, I never tried it but we're gonna do it today mmm So this is one of the um, the poles, the sugarcane poles that I cut up and put in my pot. I just wanted to share with you all how long she is. Just a long, healthy, um, and of course, y'all know I got to play. I got to play. <laughs> 
It was a beautiful day. Like, why not? Nothing is so serious, right? So now I, I've gotten all my shitty cane. I've chopped it all up. Yeah, and I'm I'm ready. I'm ready, y'all. I'm ready. <laughs> but then really it takes a lot of sugar cane to make this concentrated liquid. Um yeah, so just going back trying to, you know, put all my ducks in a row and, and making sure that all the things I think it is, it is all that it is. So I uh, chopped up um, two more poles. So you, I used six poles of sugar cane for this one uh, recipe that I'm doing today. But even with all of this family, I have more going on. Like I am dehydrating uh, my Jamaican sorrow. Not only the sorrow uh, with the petals, um, I dehydrated the petals. I put the seeds in an extra box. I also dehydrated some flowers from my Jamaican sorrow. And I'm also uh, making some shrimp stock in my Instapot. Yeah, y'all, I've been busy. I've been busy. <laughs> but um, I think now I have um, I have six poles of, uh, of this beautiful sugar cane. There it is. Um, that's a lot of sugar cane in there until I had to uh, call my son for him to come out and yeah, he had to bring that pot in the house for me because it was pretty heavy. This sugar cane is uh, very, very strong and tight. I don't know if you ever, you know, held a sugar cane. It's very, very strong. It's a healthy, healthy sugar cane. I have my sugar cane all cut up in a pot and now I'm putting it up. I kind of filled it up with water. The only thing I put in this pot is sugar cane and water. That is it. Nothing else, right? So the thing that I wanted to do is to start to boil and get all of the goodness and the sweetness out of the sugar cane and into the water. Now, I also, uh, I was dehydrating also my Jamaican sorrel. I took down my plants and all I grew five plants of Jamaican sorrel. I took down the last of my, my, my sorrel for this season. And um, of course I cleaned them up, peeled them up, I have my um, my seeds in one box, my petals in another box, and yeah. So we're gonna get this into my dehydrator. They're beautiful and healthy, and I hope to have them all year long, right? So here they are. I used um, six trays in my dehydrator for this last batch which is the final batch of my Jamaican sorrow for this year. Um, last year, uh, my Jamaican sorrow, I ran out before uh, it was time to plant more. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, I did a little bit better and I don't run out before I plant more in the spring, right? Yeah, but anyway, this is my six trays I use for uh, the Jamaican sorrow. I also dehydrated some flowers. Now I'm going to send most of those flowers to Sage Marie and we'll see what she, what she, do, what she do with them, right? So also today, yeah, I'm busy. I, um, I took some shrimp heads and shells, put them in my Instapot, and I wanted to make some broth. Now, this broth I will be using for gumbo and other things, but mostly I want it for a gumbo. And um, so I set the timer on my um, Instapot for about 55 minutes. Yeah. No rhyme or reason, just me, you know. <laughs> 
and um, I had that going um, while everything was going I was happy so now that is my sugar cane and they were getting it together they were getting together the Jamaican sorrow they were getting together uh, I'm just I'm a, look I'm a homemaker today <laughs> and now it is time to take my stock out of my super bad ass instapot <laughs> thank you Sherry Chris thank you baby I love it so there it is now I didn't put any seasoning into these this shrimp stock just in case my son want to use a jar for whatever he want to use. We don't use the same seasonings. No. <laughs> so now I'm just canning all of my um, my stock up. Now I did not um, I did not put this in my steamer or water bath canner or pressure canner. I put it in refrigerated because it will be gone in about seven days. So. That's what we did. And my Jamaican sorrow is ready. It, it went overnight, family. This is overnight you're looking at. And they are nice and crispy and just the way I like it. And I'm going to fill up this huge bar jar that I have. I have three of these jars. They are really huge. I don't know the size, but they're really, really big. And this is my sugar cane. I'm taking the sugar cane out of the pot and putting the juice into another pot. That one, right? And um, so this is the process now. Is that now that you have all the goodness from the sugar cane and it is now in the water, you want to just let it cook. And you want all of the water to just evaporate out of the syrup. That's what we're doing here today. And it is, the syrup is so dark. You wouldn't think that it was dark simply because my sugar cane is yellow. But, mm-mm, mm-mm. She's giving brown, all the way brown. And it's beautiful. Um... The smell in my house is, um, you would think it don't smell good, but it have a wonderful smell. To me, it's, it, it's, it's kind of just wake up my memory. You know how you can remember something? Well, I remember the smell. I remember the smell in my home. So, yeah. Uh, so, I'm taking all the sugar cane that I took out and bringing it outside. And now I'm going to let the sugar cane syrup just cook. And when you see white like this in your water, in your syrup, there is water in it. So just cook it, baby. Just keep cooking, right? And so that's what I'm doing. I'm taking all of the sugar cane out because now I got all her sweetness out of her. <laughs> But this was a beautiful, beautiful experiment for me, which I have never tried uh, making sugar cane syrup um, at all. So, and now you can see where it's really thickening up and uh, most of the water is really cooking out of it. And this is what you see, pure, pure sugar cane syrup. That's exactly what it is. All right, family, so this is what I've done for the last two days. I've dehydrated all of my Jamaican sorrow. This is uh, all of it I had growing out there. And also, I dehydrated some flowers. This is some shrimp broth I put in my Instapot. 
and this is my sugar cane syrup. For the first time, I made sugar cane syrup. Let me show you the consistency of it, okay? So, this is it. Um, I have nothing is in here, just sugar cane and water. Absolutely nothing else. So, I had to let it cool off, of course, because it was hot as hello. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to taste it. Oh my God, let me tell y'all what it tastes like. It tastes like, y'all ever taste that syrup called Stein or Steen in the yellow can? That's what this is. That's what this is, y'all. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It have a, a woody taste, but God, this is this is that syrup. This is that syrup. I am amazed. So, oh, I'm excited. Okay, I gotta bake some biscuits. <laughs> I gotta bake some biscuits. <laughs> oh. Listen, guys, I want to thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a wonderful